a very good morning my dear brethren today we will continue to look at how the devil goes about deceiving mankind and deceiving god's people and how he uh, keeps them in ignorant we are going to look at today so devil uh, uses three methods to deceive the christian and deceive the man mankind so he uses three deal methods one is comma plus second is counterfeit and third one is compromise so we seen in our uh, couple of days back oh, he uses the first one comma plus his method and second one is we are seeing uh, uh, counterfeit we have seen about counterfeit light and counterfeit angel and counterfeit lion now we are going to discuss so how the devil so how the devil counterfeits the bride of the lord jesus christ so how he counterfeits the bride of the lord jesus christ today we are going to see so satan uses three methods uh, three methods to deceive and destroy the god people and destroy the christians and destroy the mankind so counterfeit in that we have seen counterfeit light counterfeit angel counterfeit uh, lion as a roaring lion so now we are going to see counterfeit bright or church counterfeit church so satan had his church on this earth this this all topics you know if you are the bible believing christians before so now we are going to discuss how the devil counterfeits the bride of the lord jesus christ so various places devil uh, imitates our lord jesus christ various places in the bible so many verses telling about he is a imitator of, uh, he is a supreme imitator satan is supreme imitator the scriptures declare that so now today we are going to see counterfeit bride or counterfeit church satan comes out with his own counterfeit bride and before that please look at revelation chapter uh, please look at uh, revelation chapter uh please look at uh, the book of revelation chapter 21 verse 9 and 10 please read these verses carefully with the prayer and without prayer without scriptures we are not understand the what god saying and we are unable to understand his scriptures without prayer please read the scriptures through pray, praying and please turn your bible with me the book of revelation chapter 21 verse 9 and 10 says and there came unto me one of the seven angels which had the seven vials full of the seven last plagues and talked with me saying come hither i will show thee the bride the lamb's wife and he carried me away in the spirit to a great and high mountain and showed me that mountain and and he carried me away in the spirit to a great and high mountain and showed me the great city the holy jerusalem descending out of heaven from god so here this verse telling about uh, the bride of the lord jesus christ the bride of the lord jesus christ uh, the bride of the lamb the bride of the lamb it means church church of the lamb church means she is his wife so don't forget these things and here the bride of the lamb is a city here the bride of the lamb is city was ten uh, telling that the city name called jerusalem holy jerusalem
the holy jerusalem so in the bible uh, joshua chapter uh, 17 the book of joshua chapter 17 verse 11 says uh, please read this word uh, joshua what, uh, chapter 17 verse 11 says women are likened to cities and cities are likened to women when you read this uh, verse you you came to know this thing so here the bride of the lamb is a holy city called holy jerusalem so please uh, uh, remember this thing in your mind and uh, <coughs> in various things uh, in various places is telling that the bride of the lamb is the born again christian so those who are believe on the lord jesus christ and those who are born again those who are born again they call church if they call church it automatically they are bride of the lamb or bride of the jesus christ so here again we are going to see second corinthians chapter 11 verse 2 please turn your bible with me it's turn your bible with me second corinthians chapter 11 verse 2 says uh, like this for i am jealous over you with godly jealous for i have espoused you to one husband that i may present you as a chaste to virgin to christ chaste to virgin so please remember this uh, the bible telling that second corinthians chapter 11 verse 2 says chaste to virgin chaste to virgin so this is a very very important the bride of the lamb is chaste to virgin uh, the bride of the lamb is chaste to virgin and she is holy and she is blameless chaste virgin is church in uh, in other words bride of christ the lord jesus christ bride of jesus christ please uh, make sure this so the bride of jesus christ is a holy city so holy city you see that revelation chapter 21 verse 10 in that mention the holy city and second corinthians chapter 11 verse 2 says chaste to virgin so church is the chaste to virgin and holy bride to the jesus christ holy bride of the lord jesus christ so please make sure this thing so now we are going to see how the devil counterfeits the bride of the lord jesus christ and please uh, today i am going to discuss about many things in this bible class so uh, bible study please turn your bible with me uh, going to see how the devil counterfeits the bride of the lord jesus christ what the devil does to imitate the bride of the lord jesus christ look at revelation chapter 17 revelation chapter 17 verse 1 to 6 1 to 6 and verse 9 and verse 18 so how the uh, devil counterfeits the bride of the lord jesus christ uh, their mention so please turn your bible with me revelation chapter 17 verse 1 through 6 and verse uh, 9 and verse 18 we will see these things and there came one of the seven angels which had the seven wives and talked with me saying unto me come hither i will show unto thee the judgment of the great war that sitteth upon many waters 
with whom the kings of the earth have committed fornication and the inhabitants of the earth have been made drunk with the wine of her fornication so he carried me away in the spirit into the wilderness and i saw a woman sit upon a scarlet colored beast full of names of blasphemy having seven heads and 10 horns and the woman was arrayed in purple and scarlet color and this uh, dick with golden and precious stone and pearl having a golden cup in her hand full of abominations and filthiness a uh, filthiness of her fornication and upon her forehead was a name written mystery babylon the great the mother of harlots and abominations of the earth and i saw the woman drunken with the blood of the saints and with the blood of the martyrs of jesus and when i saw her i wondered with great adm- admiration and words uh, nine says please and here is the mind which hath wisdom the seven heads are seven mountains on which the woman sitteth and words are uh, uh, 18 and the woman which thou swayest is that great city which reigneth over the kings of the earth so this the verse is very very important so here we are seeing the bride of saturn this verse telling about the this verse telling about the bride of saturn the bride of saturn please uh, make sure about this and here we are notice some things here we notice some things uh, one is the bride of jesus christ and sec- uh, uh, second is the bride of saturn so please compare these two things please compare these two things so here i am writing the first one the bride of the lord or uh, jesus christ is the holy city is the holy city and here uh, revelation chapter uh, 17 verse 1 says the bride of satan Firstly, is called a war. See that the bride of Satan called firstly a whore. And here again, here the bride of the Lord Jesus Christ. Uh, Paul says that the bride of Jesus Christ is a chaste virgin. Chaste virgin. He, she is a, uh, he is a chaste virgin. Here, uh, Paul telling in Second Corinthians chapter eleven, and here was uh, two says, these are things that the bride of Satan is. characterized by fornication so now these are things that the bride of saturn is a uh, bride of saturn is characterized by fornication and third one verse 3 says this whore woman just as the bride of jesus christ is a woman so this whore woman just as the bride of the lord jesus christ is a woman so in fact paul says that the bride of jesus christ a chaste virgin when as the bride of saturn is a and she is known for her fornication she is a woman and it says verse 4 so when we read verse 4 woman as the bride of saturn is a 
and she is known for her fornication she is a woman so these things telling and again in verse 4 here you have the colors of the women are purple and scarlet uh, make sure these things purple and scarlet verse 4 again in verse 4 says so here not only do you have a colors but you have a jewelry so jewelry and in again what's uh, five says that's her character character there her character in a mystery so here again was five says mystery and seventh one was five says her name is babylon Her name is Babylon. And again, verse 5 says, this uh, description of this is Harlot. Harlot. And verse 9 and 18 says, this, is, uh, the, this woman is a city. So this woman is a city. So when we read this uh, scriptures, uh, we came to know how the Satan imitates the bread of the Lord Jesus Christ. So the bread of the Lord Jesus Christ is the holy city. Again in verse 18 says the bread of Satan is city uh, 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 Babylon. So his city Babylon and when the Paul's telling about uh, telling uh, the bread of the Lord Jesus Christ is chaste to virgin. So Paul said chaste to virgin. But here the bread of Satan calls a whore a fornication. She is not a holy. Here the bread of the Lord Jesus Christ is holy. Here the bread of Satan is unholy. She is fornication and whore. Harlot. See that names here. So again, how the devil imitates a lot? Uh, Jesus Christ in various places. The bread of the lamb called the holy city. At the same time, the bread of Satan also called city. And the bread of the Lord Jesus Christ called a chaste virgin. At the same time, Satan, the bread of Satan called fornication woman called a war and again here the bread of the lord jesus christ is the holy city it named jerusalem holy jerusalem again the bread of satan uh, city is babylon it's a mystery babylon so see that how the devil imitates our lord jesus christ the difference only is the bride of the Lord Jesus Christ is holy. She is holy and she is his wife. And here the bride of Satan is unholy and she drunk the blood of many saints. And here the description given harlot. So he has bread which is a city and the devil has bread which is also a city. So please uh, make sure these things but there is a great difference a gulf between the bread of Christ and the bread of Satan the bread of Christ characterized by holiness uh, make sure in your mind this is and the bread of Satan is characterized by fornication and war and she is the mother of all harlots she is the mother of all harlot so please make sure about this there is a big differences between the the bread of the lord jesus christ and the bread of the satan so there is a big gulf between these two so please make sure in your mind we seen how the devil imitates our lord jesus christ in in one more thing 
I am wiping out this whole thing. So in one more thing, it's very amazing to our mind. It's very very uh, uh, amazing things to our mind. Here I had, I make one drawing. I'll going, uh, I'll going to uh, <coughs> explain that things. So before that, some we need to identify some things between the bride of the Lord Jesus Christ and bride of the Satan. So and now we are going to see some uh, other things. Uh, very very important to know these things and especially on earth uh, the uh, physically so I am talking now uh, physically the Lord Jesus Christ had his church he has his church on this earth at the same time Satan also has his church on this earth on earth physically Physically, our Lord Jesus Christ has his church. At the same time, physically, Satan also has his church. So now we are going to see uh, Satan, uh, who is the Satan church. So what church is to belong to Satan? We are going to see that things. And before that, we need to know about this thing. And... In Old Testament, the kingdom of heaven. So, in Old Testament, here showing uh, Old Testament, the kingdom of heaven. So, the kingdom of heaven in Old Testament is literal and physical in Old Testament in OT OT means Old Testament and when the kingdom of heaven comes to in New Testament comes in New Testament or in church age so it's be, became a, the kingdom of God so the kingdom of God the kingdom of heaven become a kingdom of God it is spiritual spiritual and it is uh, invisible in New Testament NT. NT means in New Testament so in Old Testament the kingdom of heaven is literal on this earth and it's physical when it comes to the New Testament and in churches especially, the kingdom of God is spiritual. Kingdom of heaven become in, in churches the kingdom of God. It's spiritual and invisible in New Testament, in churches. And this thing, so here the kingdom of God, the kingdom of God is the church. The church, born again Christian, so those who are born again, they are in the kingdom of God, spiritually I am talking, so spiritually, so this uh, invisible kingdom of God, this time, and in the kingdom of heaven means kings in the Old Testament. Those who are rules uh, the, the earth. These are visible like a, uh, David and Solomon are uh, like that. Saul, uh, they reign this earth. That's the call the kingdom of heaven. And in in church age, the kingdom of God is spiritual, invisible and those who are born again Christian, they are in the kingdom of God. So Bible telling that. And in Old Testament, uh, please make sure, Genesis chapter 10, when you read this chapter, there uh, one interesting thing happens. When you read this thing, Babylon began in Genesis 10. So when you read here, one 
kingdom is begun by Nimrod called Babylon uh, Babylon called Babylon so uh, it means Babylon means rebel so it's by Nimrod so this kingdom by Nimrod in Genesis chapter 10 after the flood so this uh, mystery religion Babylon means the gate of God and later God changed that name to confusion because there God confused the languages of the people of earth so that was the name that place so here one kingdom begun by Nimrod it is belongs to Satan Satan so Nimrod Babylon Babylon to uh, Babylon to Egypt and Egypt to Rome like this seven uh, seven kings and seven uh, I am not talking about that all but I am going uh, out, outline out, uh, outlines I am giving some outlines so the Saturn kingdom uh, started in Genesis chapter 10 and his name uh, is city called Babylon so Babylon means confusion and later God changed to confusion and it, it went to Egypt and it went to Rome so when this a uh, kingdoms on this earth is physical and literal see that there is the kingdom of heaven to uh, this belongs to god at the same time the kingdom of uh, saturn is also same the mystery babylon and physical and literal how the kingdom of god uh, sorry how the kingdom of heaven is uh, literal and physical in the old testament on this earth at the same time the kingdom of saturn also physical literal in the old testament on this earth when it's to come to in churches this come to in churches they came by the roman catholic So Roman Catholic, this is the very very important to know us and notice these things. How the Lord pattern is there, it same the devil also uses the Lord pattern for his uh, his sake. So what did the devil do? He imitated same pattern here. So what did the devil do? He imitated the same pattern here also. So when the kingdom of heaven is literal, physical and Old Testament, at the same time the kingdom of Saturn also physical, literal in Old Testament. When it's to come to the New Testament in church age, so the kingdom of God is spiritual, invisible in church age. At the same time, Saturn changed his kingdom is like the Roman Catholic did you understand what I'm saying so devil uses the same pattern of God devil uses the kingdom of heaven is literal physical in Old Testament the kingdom when it's come to the kingdom of God it's spiritual invisible in church age at the same time Saturn uses same like this Saturn kingdom physical literal in Old Testament when it's to come to spiritual he uses the Roman Catholic Church. He using the Roman Catholic Church. So he using the Roman Catholic Church. And again the mystery form of Rome. This Catholic Church mystery. Mystery form of Rome. So here please try to understand my language and try to understand what I am saying. The Bible begins with the first kingdom Genesis chapter 10 is Saturn in Old Testament. 
so this is a very very important to know these things and here on this earth on this earth god has his church at the same time satan also has his church the roman catholic see that how the devil imitates the lord jesus christ and here one thing i would like to tell about one thing so character of this mystery it is mysteries and uh, secretive in all its dealing everything that is done is done under cover so that people will not know the true nature or character of this abomination so a same roman catholic church also they done they is done under cover uh, secretly so that people will not know the true nature or character of the abomination they know not about the roman catholic what they are doing people will not get that things and uh, i hope you understanding what i am saying so now please turn your bible with me the book of revelation chapter 17 uh, please notice that some verses there the book of revelation chapter 17 verse 6 please read this word carefully and uh, what the bible say please believe that without doubting so you doubted about god words and without doubt please believe the uh, what the god says revelation chapter 17 verse 6 and i saw the woman drunken with the blood of the saints and with the blood of the martyrs of the jesus martyrs of jesus and when i saw her i wondered with great admiration admiration so this woman is said to be drunken with the blood of saints see that so please uh, make sure these things so the roman catholic church how it belongs to satan i i i'll tell uh how the roman catholic church is belongs to satan so we are going to discuss that thing so before that please uh, make sure this uh, references in, uh, and keep in your mind revelation chapter 17 verse 6 says that woman so here drunken with the blood of the saints so make sure drunken with the blood blood of saints drunken with the blood of martyrs martyrs of jesus so martyrs of jesus so last 15 1500 years this woman drinking the blood of saints and martyrs of jesus this roman catholic church please read church history when you read this church history you came to know this roman catholic church is belongs to satan please read church histories and please uh, read this verses Revelation chapter 17 verse 6 drunken with the blood of the saints martyrs of Jesus that woman so here the roman catholic church drinking the blood of the saints and martyrs of Jesus last 1500 years and this woman is rebellious for the killing of born again bible believing christians Uh, read about martin luther biography they want kill him many times they want kill him because he is the bible believing christian he is born again christian so that the reason this roman catholic church wants him and kill him they tried many times and please take fox's book of martyrs all volumes you read the volumes 
So you came to know how the Roman Catholic drunk in the sins of the blood. Uh, how the, the Roman Catholic drunk in with the blood of the saints. You came to know, my dear brethren. Please read the our values. When Jaws saw this woman, he shocked. Read that words again. Revelation chapter 17 verse 6 says, When he saw that thing, he shocked. This woman called herself a Christian church. And here, she is drunken with blood of the saints. And Revelation chapter 17 verse 9. Revelation chapter 17 verse 9 says, uh, please turn your Bible with me, the book of Revelation, chapter 17, verse 9. And here is the mind which hath wisdom, the seven heads are seven mountains on which the woman sitteth. See here, secondly, you have women sitting on seven mountains, seven mountains, seven mountains. Seven mountains. See, uh, sometimes it's called seven hills. So you know very well, seven hills, the call Vatican City, Rome. So these seven mountains are seven hills called on this earth is Rome, Vatican. You know this very well. So please, my dear brethren, make beware about certain tricks. He uses many tricks to deceive you and destroy you. And also Revelation chapter 17 verse 18. Please read Revelation chapter 17. Revelation chapter 17 verse 18 says like this. Turn your Bible with me in the book of Revelation chapter 17 verse 18. And the woman which the Sawest is the great city which reigneth over the kings of the earth. Uh, note this very carefully. This is a city. So you see in Revelation chapter uh, maybe I think 21. 21 in 10. The bride of the Lord Jesus Christ is city, holy Jerusalem. At the same time, devil, the bride of devil calls city. So, note this very carefully, this city. This city reigns over the kings of the earth. They are mentioned. And do you know any city which is this three? Do you know any city like uh, a drunken with the blood of the saints and seven mountains and the city reign over the kings of this earth. Do you know any city which is, which is this three? Only one city like that. Only one city like that. Today it's called the Vatican City. Vatican City. Vatican City. Today it's called the Vatican City. This. And this Roman Catholic Church come from Babylon, not from the scriptures. So that's why I'm telling, we are telling the Roman Catholic Church is bride of Satan. The Lord Jesus Christ Church, like you and me, at the same time, Satan Church also, the Roman Catholic Church on this earth, on earth. So please very careful about and they hate KJV Bible and they hate Bible believing Christians. They want kill the Bible believers. They want kill born again Christians. Counterfeit pride and the Catholic Church which is the Vatican Church. So this Catholic Church is the Vatican Church. Counterfeit pride and the Catholic Church which is the Vatican Church. Please don't forget this. Keep in your mind. Some other things I would like to tell about this uh, Catholic Church. Please uh, note, it, note, note it down and make sure about this Catholic Church.
and why this catholic church is bread of satan so we are going to see few many are there but in that some only few things we are going to see so one is when you read this church history and when you read this martin luther biography this all things you you came to know the uh, bread of satan and the church of satan is roman catholic and you will you will know when you read these things and here i would like to tell one thing in 1825 pope leo so please uh, listen carefully in 1825 pope leo uh, struck a medal with has own image on one side and a woman with a cup on the other side on the side which had the image of the woman was written so in that medal one name is written in latin so i am wiping this all things because my board is very small when i am started to record this video i am getting uh, much disturbance i am getting uh, more disturbance in in this places and my board is very small so that the reason uh i wiped off so please in on that medal one name is mentioned and one name is written like this in latin latin language sedet sapor universum so if i my pronunciation uh, is mistake please read this on the board uh, for yourself please read this uh, what i wrote on the board please read that so seren super universe uh, universum is the latin language and that medal they written seren super universum the pope leo one side is her uh, uh, his image and other side is one woman with a cup their image and their mention sudden super uh, universum so it means the whole world is her seat it means the whole world her seat see that where we see the scriptures in the bible just we read the revelation chapter 17 just we read so that medal they mention seven super universal meaning the whole world her seat see that what this pope did what that pope did in plenary words he struck out medal with the image of a woman sitting on the wall wall and then his own image on the other side how here women look like as it is pope also how the women look like here the pope also same and in other things we not we noted some inscription about the uh, the bread of saturn they mention her cloth uh, her clothes like a uh, a uh, purple and scarlet color so it it same pope also will wear like that colors uh, dress code only so how the woman has cup in her hand exactly pope will uh, keep one stick in his hand so see how similar these things and here on that model they mention seven super universal means the whole wall her seat see that this is a very very interesting thing and how here women look like in revelation chapter 17 as it is pope also same his class like a woman his jewelry like a that woman his hand have one stick like a woman has cup they have their own bible they have their own bible especially they worship women so this roman catholic church especially they worship 
a woman it's called name mary not bible mary they worshiping they worshiping satan the, they worshiping this woman and pope has especially library in vatican city no one allows to go there and no one allows to all rooms they have hidden library like that woman they drunk and bled every sunday you do you know this thing they drunk every sunday the blood they eat flesh truly they eat fresh uh, flesh so my dear brethren they call that blood and that flesh is called mass when they gather together in their churches they are drinking and they are eating truly flesh uh, uh, blood and flesh if those who are eat blood and uh, those who are drink blood and those who are eat flesh they call cannibals do you know these things and my dear brother please uh, don't forget this and don't forget this and martin luther said like this would call or address the pope as his hellishness and the antichrist and all the reformers were agreed together that roman catholic church is the antichrist and that's because they found all the characteristics of the antichrist or the religion of the antichrist in the roman catholic church but today so sad thing but today so sad thing today so sad thing is this so called protestants christians have completely forgotten their history they have no clues as to one kind of a monster the roman catholic church really is they have completely forgotten but it see that about it they completely forgotten about it they look at the roman catholic church as another denomination in christianity it is not at all it is not at all my dear brethren don't think this is only another denomination this is a belongs to satan they worshiping satan and they praising satan they are leading by satan and they are killing the bible believing christian they are killing born again christian so don't forget that thing and it is the bread of satan please make sure about this and one more thing i would like to say this uh, i draw this uh, one crown on this board i'll explain about this so i'm wiping this also because i said before my board is very, very small and it is with a crashes and it's very uh, small by the by the grace of god i'm using and it's working still so please pray for that new board uh, god may give his new bo new board so before uh, so now come to our point here i draw one crown this crown name is the this crown name is uh, tiara triple crown tiara triple crown so this crown especially on pope head they wear only this crown wear the popes so in vatican city so here tiara triple crown on that crown also mention one name one name on this crown is there the name like this if i pronounce wrongly please see the word i'm writing here vicarious
फ्री डेड सो इफ यू इफ प्रोनाउंस माई प्रोनाउंस इज रॉन्ग प्लीज रीड वी आई सी ए आर आई यू एस सो फॉर मी इट्स विकारस विकारियस एंड हियर मिडिल एफ आई एल आई आई फिली डी ई आई डे सो इफ आई माय प्रोनाउंस इज रॉन्ग प्लीज रीड फॉर युअर सेल्फ इट्स क्लियर टू यू एंड दिस इज अ लैटिन नेम लैटिन नेम इट मींस रिप्रेजेंटेटिव ऑफ द सन ऑफ गॉड सो दिस नेम मीनिंग इज रिप्रेजेंटेटिव ऑफ द सन ऑफ गॉड इज अ फ्रेज फर्स्ट यूज इन द फोर्थ इन मेडिवल डोनेशन ऑफ कॉन्स्टेंटाइन टू रेफर टू सेंट पीटर हु इज रिकॉर्डेड एज द फर्स्ट पोप बाय द कैथलिक चर्च सो दे गिवन दिस टाइटल टू द पीटर एंड हैड ए वेन वी काउंटेड दिस नेम न्यूमरिकल वैल्यू इट्स कम ट्रिबुल सिक्स सो ऑन दिस पोप क्राउन they are mentioned triple 6 666 it sign of antichrist so how i explain in english i don't know but uh, in telugu i'll explain very well so in, now bible conference going on 25th this month so in that time i would like to share this all things so please pray for that and god may use us in telugu language very well and people came to know this is a true and this is a, a roman catholic church belong to satan and they believe on the king james version and they may born again in lord jesus christ so please pray for that and when we calculated this name when we calculated this name numerically its come value triple 6 Six six six. On that pope crown, they've written representative of the Son of God. But when it to come numerical value, they're mentioned triple six. See that they're mentioned. So again here, you need to know the mystery of Babylon, mystery of form of Rome. This Catholic follow the mysteries. They don't reveal anything. They'll go under. Uh, they will go by mystery secretly they will done everything under cover the mystery they will done like that so that the reason if we if we uh, calculate these things it will come triple 6 and how we are going to see so how this triple 6 will come we are going to see uh, uh, please uh, here i am showing roman counting uh, please make sure in your mind here i am showing some roman counting so in roman counting count like this one in rome they uh, write this thing one and five like this and 10 like this and when you, so roman thousand they write like this thousand they write like this and here l 50 they in roman they write like this and 100 in roman in roman counting like this and 500 they will write like this like d english d like that so 1 5 10 100 50 oh, sorry 1 5 10 1000 50 100 this is roman counting so here i am showing roman counting and please uh, <coughs> comes to uh, that name v i c like this 
V I C A R I U S here we will see V like this means five and like this one they will write, write like this row in Roman counting here means one and here like C so here hundred they will like this hundred and here this one zero and this also zero here one again and here five sometimes they will uh, they will cal calculate five and here again zero when we count these things it will come one one two one hundred and twelve and philly here i am showing this thing f i l so it means zero it means one it means fifty it means one it means one so total here 53 53 and here on the crown this also there d e i and here d mean 500 500 e 0 e 1 total 501 when we calculate these things 1 1 2 53 and 501 6 6 6 it will come triple 6 did you understand what I wrote Tiria triple crown on that crown one name is there in Latin when we calculated as a numerically it will come triple six so when we count roman counting this name when we count as a roman count roman calculating and roman counting it will come triple six why this thing they are doing like this means this is what they do what they did and what they are doing they are do mystery form so they are do mystery form so did you understanding what i'm trying to say is so my dear brethren today many many christians the protestant christians also they ignore about what the uh, roman catholic are doing and one interesting thing we seen in youtube many many wrong teachings and wrong false going on this earth especially in youtube in tvs there are many false uh, uh, false teaching and false preaching going on now i would like to talk about a little bit about the charismatic so charismatic also they are uh, connecting to roman catholic why because they are charismatic its connection to the roman catholic church many christians don't see this that the charismatic church is totally controlled if not totally to a great extent the charismatic church is controlled by the roman catholic church so in these two ways that is uh, that is through attacking the kjv version the Satan attacking these two ways, one is Roman Catholic and one is charismatic. These two ways, Satan using to attacking the King James Version and attacking the doctrines of God and doctrines of church age and corrupting the doctrines of Christians. The Roman Catholic Church tried to take its 
revenge on bible believing christian christianity so look at what happens in the martin luther's life read about martin luther's biography you came to know these things this protestants this roman catholic church wants kill all protestants all bible believing christians they don't touch charismatic and they don't touch jehovah witnesses they don't such uh, so called christians they only touch they only touch the bible believing christians and those who are believe the king james version is the true word of god the king james version is the true word of god those who are believe this word like this they will want to kill you because they hated the king james version and they hated heavy 611 and tries to do two things try to take away its bible and and tries to destroy its doctrines some example quite uh, charismatic churches a uh, connection between charismatic and roman catholic church they only telling this we are not so one guy this devil possessed by benihin so he is the uh, devil possessed guy so he is he is the most guy to uh, corrupting the church he is important for them for pentecostal he is important name so benihin said about roman catholic teaching he said there are more people getting healed in the catholic church than pentecostal churches because the catholic people reward the eucharist for as it is symbolic but jesus never said this is symbolic of my body he said this is my body miracles powerful stuff going on in catholic churches you should check out father mapcurry on youtube you will see miracles you can't believe it will drown your drown blow your brains off in a good way i met this amazing man he touched people with his cross and they got healed these are the words of benihin the charismatic faith healer see that this charismatic totally con control under the roman catholic church so be careful about charismatic does this man have any idea of what he is saying telling that god is doing more miracles of healing in the catholic church because they believe in the eucharist and because they believe that the wherever that the cup that the uh, roman catholic priest holds in his hands and that cup was wine or the literal body and blood of the lord jesus christ he says because they believe that god is performing miracles and he is endorsing the roman catholic church teaching about the eucharist which is what he is saying and which is unbiblical nonsense can you believe that and this is benihin doing that he also no idea how many uh, english reformation had given up their lives they were burned at the uh, stake by the roman catholic church he has no idea because he is talking like that he is a foolish fellow rubbish fellow he is the using by the devil and what this benihin talking is nonsense rubbish and the mission of the catholic church has always been to bring the world to the feet of the pope don't forget this and rick warner says catholic and uh, christians have the same mission see that this foolish fellow also telling like that will you prove that thing the catholic and christians are missions are same no you never say like that their mission and our mission is totally different their mission our, our mission there is a gulf 
big gulf is there their mission is to uh, uh, bring the world to the uh, feet of pope but our mission is to bring souls to the jesus christ so please be careful about and many uh, charismatic people telling like that like benhin like uh, rick warner uh, what they are telling many charismatics are telling, saying that thing because this wonders and signs came from Ca catholic church because of that this charismatic people approaching them and this charismatic people are uh, using by the roman catholic church so be careful about this and this all things my dear brethren don't forget so counterfeit bride our church is roman catholic and roman catholic the bride of satan and church of satan so don't forget this all things so i think you are understand what i'm saying so thank you thank you so much and be careful about this because this roman catholic want to hating the king james version they want uh, they are hate this book they hate this king james version and they hate those are believing the bible they are hate and they will uh, catch catch they will catch and they will kill those who are bible believing the roman catholic church will do in future also do the, the martin luther and reformers they all are said this roman catholic belongs to antichrist so don't forget that and don't ignore of this and in the roman catholic church they spread all over the world they spread already and they deceiving people and they killing many people last 1500 years they kill many many saints of the lord they will come to you also and they will come to me also for what to take out this bible av 1611 authorized king james version and they want to kill us that the reason they will going to come to you and they will come to us come to me also so be careful for this and don't ignore of certain tricks and don't deceiving by this charismatic people this charismatic people they are uh, totally against to the scriptures they totally against to the scriptures they are uh, gathering power uh, uh, weaken people from the weaken people if you if you got fever they will come oh god saying like this if you do like this that fever will gone they are making mess with the scriptures please don't believe on that nonsense teaching and nonsense preaching and please pray for this ministry so we are doing and how the devil uses here in local area in india where i am living they are devil using many people and many christians many christians and here around me the charismatic people only is there around me roman catholic people only there so please pray for them and as well as pray for me also thank you thank you so much